In this video, we're going to see if me and my teammate can win this 2v2 deathmatch tournament. Stick around to see if we can win. Each match, we have to beat our opponents in 2 out of 3 2v2 matches to defeat them. And then we'll progress in the bracket. So let's see how it goes. I decided to start out with my EM Rifle Panther because it was a good sniper map and I was hoping to get some easy kills with the EM Rifle, but I'm not very good with EM Rifles so I kept missing. My teammate was out on the field also trying to get some kills, and at this point I decided to push forward since my stasis barrier was ready. I could use it as cover and hopefully help my teammate too. I wanted to protect my teammate with my stasis barrier, but he ended up getting killed. This wasn't looking good for us, and I was being locked onto by javelins or helix rack. As you can see, the indicators on my panther. There were also nade launchers coming in. I was able to dodge some of them, but some of them were able to hit me, so now I was damaged too. The enemies were still trying to hit me with javelins, so I had to be super careful to not get shot. I tried rushing in with my EM rifles to get out a quick shot on this kill shot, but he dashed away. Thankfully, the stasis stopped him from my stasis bear, but I still missed. And the javelins were fired at me, and I was stunned. I knew that I was going to get killed since I was stunned, and I did. Now, me and my teammate were down by three kills. This was not looking good for us. I splashed and got our first kill with my disc launcher surge, and I knew that there was a Zephyr up top. I wanted to get him, but first I needed to reload. My teammate was over on the other side waiting for our enemies to respawn. I splashed the Zephyr with my disc launchers, and it was now 2-3, to three, but we only had one second left, and I wasn't able to get this panther in time. We lost the first round. On to round 2, the javelins were on me once again, as you can see they're already firing at me, this wasn't good, and there goes the second salvo. Now I knew that they were still going to be reloading for a second, so I took this chance to take out whoever was up there again. I managed to splash this mech to death, but the javelins were still a big threat to me and my teammate. I activated my stealth so he couldn't target me, and I went up to splash him with discs, which almost worked, but he was still alive. I needed just one more shot, and I was able to get it by splashing off the roof. Now the other opponent also had javelins, and I gave my teammate a thumbs up, because this round we were winning 3-0 instead of losing 3-0. Now I went for the next enemy, but he happened to be a guardian with disc launchers, and I thought I was going to die, but I was actually able to juke him. I was able to stay safe behind this wall, and since I didn't want to fight the disc launchers, I went the for the other opponent, and somehow I managed to get him. I was super low on health, but thankfully my teammate saved me, and I was able to escape. Later on, when I dashed back in, I used the Hunter's Mark for my teammate to get an easy kill, which put us in the lead 6-1. to one. There was no way for us to lose this round, and I wanted to get away, but as I was dashing away, the enemy shot me with their Disc Launcher Ares. However, that didn't stop us from winning the round. Now it was tied up 1-1. to one. If we could win this round, we'd win the match, and we only needed to win two matches to beat our enemies. I had already gotten us one kill which put us in the lead, but my opponents were using javelins so I dashed to use my stealth. This would counter the javelins once again. I wanted to get some splash damage off on the enemies but they dashed away. Now my stealth was gone and I had to be careful so I waited and then reactivated it and then I was able to splash my enemies. We are now up 2-1 to one with about half of the round over. The next opponent spawned on me and tried to stun me but I was able to get away. But suddenly, a guardian spawned on me. This was very dangerous to me as a surge, and I dashed up to him so I could wait for my reload, but I realized he was using disc launchers, which were hitting me with a lot of damage. I was getting super low, but I was able to take him out, and somehow the next opponent, Panther here, didn't kill me, and I splashed past his barrier and got him. We were now up 5-0, to zero, and it was looking really good for us. We just needed to keep the lead. I got another splash damage kill with my disc launchers, but I was super low on health, so I had to be careful. I tried splashing on this roof here, and I nearly killed this enemy Ares, but my teammate got the kill. We were now up 7-0, to zero, which was looking really good for us, but the next enemy was trying to kill me. It was a panther, so I thought I was going to die, but suddenly he walked through his barrier and I was able to splash him, which is really good for us. My teammate, however, got killed, and then I did. But we won this round, which gave us our first win. Now on to our second match with these opponents. If we could defeat them again, we'd beat them once and for all and be one step closer into winning the tournament. I started off with a disc launcher kill and since we were both running discs, we were able to splash our opponents from around every corner. This is a really strong strategy, especially in these close 2v2 maps. Me and my teammate were able to dominate this first round, starting off with a 3-0 lead as you can see, and since I stunned this opponent, I was able to get him as well. Since there's a spawn point next to me, I needed to retreat, but I was able to stay safe. 
away. Suddenly, I was stunned and there's a kill shot and a Zephyr attacking us, but I was able to stun the Zephyr and take him out. And somehow my teammate got the kill shot as well. We were now up 6-0, which is looking really good. But then I got system crashed here and I needed to hide, but I was being flanked by the enemy Panther and I got killed by the Guardian. Now my surge was gone, so I used my Bastion, which also has discs, and we were able to get up to 7-2. to two. There's only a few seconds left, and we're definitely going to win, so I tried to get this enemy, but I wasn't quite able to get him. So we won the first round. Only one round to go, and then we would finally defeat these opponents. I started off with my surge once again, since it had done so well in the first round, and I was able to get another splash damage kill. Now we were up 2-0 to in the final round we needed to win if we wanted to beat these opponents, so we were going to play it safe. My teammate did a really great job, so thanks to him for helping me out in these matches. Then a guardian spawned and system crashed my teammate. I didn't want him to die, so I splashed the enemies and stunned the second one, and I was able to take them both out. And my teammate survived, so we were now up 4-0. to zero. This was looking really good, but there was still a chance of us losing if we got demolished. There was enough time left, so we had to be careful, and I just got stunned, and the Zephyr was able to kill me this time. Now I spawned at my, my Bastion back in, and I was hoping to get revenge on these guys, which I did. We were now up 5-1, to one, and my teammate managed to stay alive. I also got the other opponent, so it was looking really good with a 6-1 to one lead. Since my Bastion is so tangy, I was pretty sure it would be able to survive, but there was a Panther attacking us. I managed to do a great shot off the ceiling and got both of our opponents, while my teammate still survived the attack. We were now winning 8-1, to one. we had almost killed all the enemy mechs, and if we could do that, we would secure our victory, but they just killed my teammate. Now the next enemy was coming in, as I was able to splash behind him, and we eventually won this round. So we beat our first opponents, and now we are on to the second match. Everyone in this match did a really good job. Uh, we were definitely a little bit stronger uh, squad power than them, but great job to everyone in this match, and thanks for playing with me. Now on to our next match. In this match, we were going to have to play against Red, who is a super strong player with extremely high squad power, but it was a 2v1, so let's see who can win. Even though it was a 2v1, Red had a huge advantage because of his maxed items. Here you can see him one-shotting my mechs with a single shot and destroying us. We already lost match 1. If we lost this match, we would lose the whole thing. He even killed me with his Lancer, which is one of the weakest mechs. And here he got me with his splash damage. He's even using the new Hemlock mech. Here he dazed me and made me unable to do anything against him. This new mech is so powerful, you can see it just it makes my Bastion unable to do anything, and he's re-dazing me. And here's a clip where I thought I could kill him with my discs, but his nomad resistance made it so he could kill me easily. We got destroyed by Red two rounds in a row, and we were eliminated. Red eventually made it to the championship and won, but we decided he was a little too OP, so we gave it to the other people who made it to the championship. Great job everyone and thanks for playing in this tournament. If you want to join more events like this, click my Discord server link, the very top link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe if you enjoyed. Also click on one of these other videos if you want to see some more awesome content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.